In April 2011, the first ever Sukhoi Superjet 100, with tail number 95007, arrived in Armenia to fly under the flag of Armavia, operating flights from Yerevan to Moscow, St. Petersburg, and Sochi. However, this superjet, named Yuri Gagarin, didn't serve for long. The manufacturer sent it for routine maintenance just a year later, but it never returned. The Armenian side couldn't pay the manufacturer, and in 2013, Armavia declared bankruptcy. The Sukhoi Civil Aircraft Flight Test Complex in Zhukovsky currently stores aircraft without its engines. It is likely that they removed these engines to install them on other aircraft. More than 13 years have passed since that momentous occasion, and over 230 aircraft have been built. In 2003, Rosavia Cosmos held a competitive selection of projects from various manufacturers, TU-414, RRJ-75, and M-60 from the VM Mysishchev plant. As a result, the Expert Council awarded the victory to the Superjet RRJ-75. In a two-class configuration, the aircraft can accommodate 87 passengers, and when the cabin is densified, the number of seats increases to 108. The SSJ-100's flight range is 3,048 kilometers, while the long-range variant LR can cover up to 4,578 kilometers without landing. The 3 plus 2 layout, five seats in a row, was borrowed from the Boeing 717. It's noteworthy that the aircraft still uses Russian-French power jet SAM-146 engines. Initially, four engine options were considered, Pratt & Whitney PD-800, Rolls-Royce BR-710, General Electric CF-34-8, and Snecma NPO Saturn SAM-146. The latter one, despite the fact that in 2022, the European Union Aviation Safety Agency revoked the certification of Russian aircraft, including the SSJ-100, it still forms the basis of the fleet of several Russian airlines. Today, all civilian operators of the Sukhoi Superjet 100 are in Russia. Only the military operates the Superjet abroad. In 2000, Sukhoi projected sales of around 800 new aircraft. Sukhoi targeted approximately 35% of these sales for North America, followed by 25% for Europe, 10% for Latin America, and 7% for Russia and China. The remaining percentage was kept as a reserve. Unsurprisingly, Russia's largest airline, Aeroflot, owns the most significant fleet of SSJ-100s. However, one of its subsidiaries, Rossiya Airlines, operates a majority of these flights, transporting government officials. As of July 2024, Rossiya operates 76 superjets, with eight of them currently grounded. The average age of these aircraft is 6.8 years. Aeroflot has confirmed an order for an additional 89 SSJ-100 aircraft, specifically the new Russified SSJ New Model, which will use Russian engines and many other components for maximum import substitution. However, in mid-2024, Aeroflot announced its intention to phase out the SSJ-100 and TU-214 in favor of 339 MC-21 aircraft. However, despite the MC-21's introduction, the delivery schedule remains unclear due to delays. Red Wings currently has 20 Sukhoi Superjet 100 aircraft in its fleet, with plans to add 15 more. Additionally, the company has ordered 16 MC-21 aircraft. Red Wings also operates TU-204 and TU-240 aircraft, as well as three Boeing 7 to rs This diverse fleet allows Red Wings to operate in multiple regional centers across the country. The airline has stated its intention to focus on domestically produced aircraft in the future. Interestingly, Red Wings had previously retired all of its SSJ-100s in 2016, but reintroduced them in 2020. Red Wings Airlines received recognition as the world's most punctual airline in 2021. This is notable given that its fleet at the time included a significant number of foreign aircraft, such as Airbus A320s, A31s, and Boeing 777s. Recently, a regional airline Aurora ordered two SJ-100 aircraft to be delivered by 2035. This order is in addition to the earlier order for the delivery of eight SJ-100 aircraft. Let us now examine how the Sheremetyevo crash affected SSJ-100 orders. Following the fatal crash of an SSJ-100 at Sheremetyevo International Airport, in which 48 people lost their lives, S7 Airlines demanded that Sukhoi Corporation replace the flammable composite floor. Subsequently, they canceled their order entirely. Yamal is a Russian airline headquartered in Salakard, 
with base airports in Salakard, Tiumen, and Moscow's Domodedovo. The Yamalo Nenets Autonomous Okra government owns 97.6% of its shares. Yamal's fleet currently includes 14 SSJ-100s with an average age of 7.3 years. Yamal has retired four superjets from service. The airline also operates eight A320s and three Canadian Bombardier Challenger 850 and CRJ-200LR aircraft. There are no orders for new aircraft. Azure Air, a low-cost carrier based in Rostov-on-Don and Krasnodar, is one of Russia's three successful low-cost carriers, alongside Pobeda and Smartavia. Azure Air operates 20 SSJ-100 aircraft, including 18 long-range versions. Their average age is just over six years. The airline has an active order for three European Airbus A220s, although the delivery deadlines are approaching. Gazpromavia's aircraft fly on 19 routes, primarily serving Russia's oil and gas industry. The airline's fleet includes nine long-range Sukhoi Superjet 100 LR aircraft and three Boeing 737s. Yakutia Airlines, based in Yakutsk and Vnukovo, provides transportation to remote regions of Russia and neighboring countries. Three SSJ 100 LR aircraft form the core of its fleet. The airline also operates four Boeing aircraft, two 737-700s and two 737-800s. The route between St. Petersburg and Yakutsk, operated by the 737-700, is one of the longest routes for this aircraft type in the world. The Boeing covers the 4,831 kilometers distance in 6 hours and 20 minutes. Other passenger operators of the SSJ-100 include Aero, 7 aircraft, and Severstal, 4 aircraft. Non-commercial operators of superjets include the Royal Thai Air Force, with all three of their SSJ-100s belonging to the government. Various Russian government agencies also actively use superjets, and Kazakhstan's border service has received one such aircraft. Let us now look at the Mexican SSJ-100 fleet's plight. Mexico currently has about 20 Sukhoi Superjet 100 aircraft grounded. Although they are officially in storage, Mexican airlines have not used them for a long time. While it's theoretically possible to buy them back, there are several significant challenges. These aircraft have been stripped of many parts, making it a lengthy and arduous process to restore them to airworthiness especially under current sanctions. When the SSJ-100s arrived in Mexico, there were no restrictions on flights to Europe or the U.S. The aircraft's range of 4,500 kilometers allowed transatlantic flights via Ireland and Canada. Even if Russia magically made the aircraft airworthy, the current restrictions would prevent it from having enough fuel to make such journeys. Now let us look at the SSJ's spare parts and engine issues. The average daily utilization of the Sukhoi Superjet 100 in 2018 was 3.6 hours. Comparable aircraft like the Embraer E-170, operated by S-7, had a utilization rate twice as high at 6 hours per day, while the Embraer E-190, operated by Pegasus Fly, averaged 10 hours. The primary reason for this significant difference is the shortage and disruptions in the supply of spare parts coupled with issues with the Powerjet SAM-146 engines. It was discovered during operation that instead of the claimed 7,500 to 8,000 hours between overhauls, these engines could only operate between 1,000 and 4,000 hours. Due to these issues, Mexican airline Interjet, Belgian airline Brussels Airlines, and Irish airline Cityjet had previously abandoned the SSJ-100. Does the SSJ-100 aircraft have a future? Russia has set a goal of producing over 1,000 domestic aircraft by 2030. However, due to sanctions, Russian carriers have limited options and are turning to domestically produced aircraft. While the Sukhoi Superjet 100 is the most successful Russian-made regional jet, it is not without its challenges. Another Russian-made aircraft, the MC-21, is still in development, delaying its entry into service. The Tu-204 and Tu-2014 are older models and face challenges with all Russian components. While Russian aviation authorities have pledged to increase production of the Sukhoi Superjet 100, several factors could hinder these plans. The domestic PD-8 engine's development is critical to the future of the SSJ-100. However, the first serial production engines are not expected until 2025, and even then, their performance remains uncertain. Retrofitting existing SSJ-100s with domestic engines is expected to be very costly, 
potentially equaling the cost of a new aircraft. While there is a reserve of SAM 146 engines, these are not suitable for the upgraded SSJ New. Now, do you think the Sukhoi Superjet has a future? Let us know in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe for more such awesome content. Also, please take our memberships to support us.